yeah that could be the problem so but it worked mm. there the hell it is you, you see you have a big source code and you don't find it where you uh, put things in it so let me see open dialog hmm it here it is okay uh, yeah as I said I didn't make it visible so gtk widget show all and dialog so this will be the show the label and that's it all right uh, let me see is there anything else uh, yep the get element right here it's declared right here and it doesn't define okay this get element function will get uh, the element and put it in the a and uh, call the source function so it will be called whenever we click the button okay so uh, we just simply make a for loop as always all right and here we just uh, make uh, aij equals to the get text although we have to convert it first to a character uh, to an integer as it will be a character we can use the a to i function for that the a to i function it is convert uh, something to int actually it converts a string to int but i don't really know what a stands for so never mind uh, so we use a gtk and three get text text gtk entry get text our entry is the widget i j and uh, and you know we just uh, don't need any other parameter and probably it will work and then just call the solve function and i think that's it uh, yeah now the only thing is need is, is to check okay let's check it let's check it out <coughs> compile okay we need a new header file for a to i it is called uh, cstdlib i think uh, that's where the a to i is so include cstdlib now we can run the program yeah all right uh, now we try to make it manually so j i just open a sudoku game uh, logic sudoku right here make it an easy one and try to write there okay i just get it here so you can see that i am not cheating when i write things in it so zero nine zero 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 five zero four by the way i press the tab to you know uh, step stepping so yeah that's why it's quite good this entry text thing because you just press the tab key and you are in the next one so this is uh, quite quick three nine zero zero eight one zero 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 seven zero zero nine by the way this testing is the part of every programming uh, be the code for or other cool games or or just a simple sudoku solver we write we always have to check all of its functions to check that if it work or not okay so zero zero one four six five two zero 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 seven zero zero four zero 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 two five zero zero six seven 
four nine zero nine eight two four seven zero zero five zero seven zero 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 one zero two and if it right the solve the sudoku it solve it now just check it out if it work correctly or not so get this all right so I think it is work perfectly so if you want you can go now and anyway I will uh, just write these numbers right here eight six three two seven nine seven four eight one six and then eight four seven one two nine five six three nine three uh, blah 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 two seven eight okay uh, five six two seven three eight four nine one Okay, the next one is three two five eight one six seven okay one seven six three and uh, six um, four five nine three eight all right that's it so the Sudoku solver is actually working uh, with graphical user interface as well. Okay, uh, the only thing is uh, is actually missing from this program is the checking. It doesn't check uh, almost anything, almost nothing. Okay, uh, I think I will stop it right here because I'm start start to get tired. Uh, but you have the power so you can make a check uh, maybe I will make it later to uh, some other part of this um, tutorial but not for now okay so the only thing is you need to check that is it a character you can use uh, I so is it a numeric so you can use is num a function f from CSTD lib I think and uh, you can check that is it greater or less than 0 and 9 so and you can use this row and uh, so you can use this row column and square function to check that uh, isn't there uh, any the same character so uh, if you remember it will give one if it is a good character so it is a possible so you just check that is it every char so for every character that is row, column, and square give one. If it is give one, then you know just uh, it is a good character. Uh, but if it is uh, give zero, you should g uh, give a dialog that there are a character like that already in the same row, column, or square. And uh, this have a little problem here because if you pass zero this will not check that uh, break if it is zero so you have to manually uh, break it so continue use a continue to so if it is zero use a continue to don't you know uh, pass zero to it because as it will give zero and it would say that it is a bad character although zero could be uh, a lot of so there could be a lot of zeros uh, you know in one uh, row column or square all right and uh, that's it you have to check only these and nothing else uh, thank you for watching and have a great day